can take the augmented reality, we can take the virtual reality, we can combine them into a mixed reality to give you a further level of um, immersion. We can then go to like hyper reality, which is even better. So we can give someone a, a, a truly realistic um, experience as possible with like feedback systems. We can include senses of smell, haptics. You know, we can use sound waves to generate controls for things. So like if you went up to something, the main problem you've got in VR is if you walked up to something like a chair and a chair's not there, in reality, you walk straight through it and that immediately breaks the sense of immersion. So we can give you like a system that uses different tools to allow you to feel that. So you're talking like haptics, like gloves with pressure sensors, or maybe like if it's small controls, we can use sound waves. We've got a whole host of kit to play with and we can really create some realistic stuff. We can do it to the, the textile density and feedback for someone to do surgery. So like literally you can have someone replicating surgical procedures without the need of any of it. So you can be cutting through the skin and be feeling the different layers of skin, muscle and all that sort of tissue and be actually trained to do that in, without the actual need of the body.